Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome to Fallout fucking 4. I'm going to be teaching you how to survive in the bloody wastelands of this fucking desolate land. Now, first things first, check your surroundings. You know, what's useful? What can you find? What are you going to pick up? It's a disgusting land filled with corpses. Families torn asunder. We've got a first aid kit. We've got a wooden crate. We've got a couple of empty bottles. You never know what you, when you're going to need that. Do you need it for, to piss in later on? Collect your piss. You might need to drink it. Who fucking knows? Got a few bits and pieces in there. Dinner fork. Everybody needs some utensils, right? Head down here. Let's see what we can see. This is absolutely traumatic to see. All these corpses. They were people once, like you and me. Getting on with their daily lives, going out, shopping. Picking their noses, slapping their own arse cheeks, as we all do. What's that over there? Blood leaf, yeah. Have a few of those. Mix them up. Have them in my soup tonight. Sanctuary. This old place. I remember back in the day, it was a beautiful little cul-de-sac. The houses were top of the fucking line. We'd all gather around each other's houses. We were neighborly like that. I'd invite my neighbour around for a barbecue. <sighs> He'd invite me around to, you know, for a little bit of fun with his wife. We do many things, and it was all communal based. Oh, who's this robotic chip? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Certainly is, mate. Good to see you again. Good to see you. the world. Uh, well, sir, well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? She's dead, mate. She's fucking gone. Oh, there's that beautiful mug. It's a lot She's of years out in the wildlands there, camping up. In a better place. Sir, these things you're saying Making fires. A terrible thing. Uh, Just I surviving. Need a distraction. It's a wind-worn face, you'd call it. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the land uh, with you? <laughs> Sean's gone, mate. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. I don't know where they took him. They just came in and took my little baby. Suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting fucking weird. A little bit weird. What's wrong? I. I. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car. How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. 
Thank you, Cardwell. Thank you very much, Cody Wolf. You're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search? Now, the, you, you didn't notice there, but the first lesson was imparted. And let me explain. I've just been told that I'm two centuries old. Everyone I know is fucked. Every bloody uh, neighbour, every friend, every work colleague, the clown that I invited to my last birthday party, he's dead. He's dead now. The wife's been shot. The baby's been nicked. What am I going to do? But here's the lesson. I'm bloody calm. I'm bloody calm. And I'm getting prepared internally, mentally and physically, to take on what is going to be an arduous task. Just surviving this fucking land, mate. All right? Now, a quick look around the neighbourhood. Get the gun out. You don't know what's inside. You don't know if anything's hostile or anything like that. Oh, Sean's crib. <clears throat> Bring him back a few emotions. Bury those deep. <laughs> the old homestead. Nothing much there now. Check out the neighbour's place. This old fuck would never let me in when he was alive. Let's see what he's got. Dirty rags under the bed, I imagine. Fucking boo-boot. Shit, what's happening in there? Oh, my, the big wasps. The big fucking wasps. Oh, shoot those big wasps. Oh, pop they go. Always be alert. I can't tell, I can't stress that enough. You gotta be alert. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Come in, I mean I'm a human here. When they're making his program, they shouldn't have even programmed emotion in. He should just be yes sir, no sir. That's his fucking role. There's still people alive and conquered? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighbourhood and past the red rocket. Ye yeah, are remember the way, mate! Ye yeah, are remember the way! Who do you think you're talking to? Are you talking to somebody wet behind the ears, dirty piece of shit? I bloody remember the way. Out the way, Cotty. Nothing much else around here. Time to skedaddle. So we got a workshop here. Could come in handy. Construct something. Look at the materials you got around. Collect what you need. I'm going to make a bed. Somewhere to put my head tonight. Semi shelter. I mean, there's plenty of holes in this place. Hopefully we'll be able to get this uh, this fixed up. Or oh, people will look like they're working on it, but uh, the holes will never be filled in. One of those two things will probably happen. Here we go. Let's have a little bit of a let's have a bit of a sleep. Oh, here we go. Well rested. Only an hour. It's all I needed. A quick nap. Get over the shock of waking up to this. All in all, we got a lot of bloody work to do here.